friends this is nena anand once again today my topic is discipline with love there has to be something which is different between discipline and punishment when i talk of discipline there is a heart of love for the child when i talk of punishment it is when you are criticizing nagging hitting the child in anger there is a different attitude there is no self control there and the child feels hurt feels broken but in discipline with love the child knows that he has done a wrong behavior and has to turn from that way let me give you an example for example if i if you see this picture of a child going near the fire when the child is going near the fire he is not knowing whether it is right or wrong but the parent who is seeing can see that the child will be immediately burnt so the parent rushes and gets the child out of the he gets the child into a safe place this is disciplining but with love it is to change to tell the child no oh, that's a wrong way to go so discipline is all about changing a wrong behavior what could be some of the reasons that parents may not want to discipline their children reason number 1 that when we are very busy we are out working and we come back home and we see our child we want to only give love to our child we we come to know oh the child has done so many things but we immediately don't want to discipline the child step number the reason number 2 it is that we may ourselves have never been disciplined the right way our parents may have never disciplined us the way it should have been with love maybe we always got naggings and hittings and shouting and criticism and we carry that wrong concept of discipline also we may lack self control we may not be in control of ourselves when we see a child doing wrong we may get very angry and want to beat the child let's see some tips on how we can discipline the child with love tip number 1 it is very important for every parent to have rules in their homes when they have rules in their homes the child knows his boundaries these rules should be followed by all the members of the family tip number 2 when a husband is disciplining his child the wife should not come in the middle or when the wife is disciplining the husband should not come in the middle the reason for that is if the child knows which parent is softer then they will take emotionally they will control the house also if you are staying with in laws and other people in the family see that everyone follows the same rules and if it is in school then see that every teacher going into the classroom knows the rules that are set up for that child for the students tip number 3 be firm when you when you see the child doing wrong keep a straight face be firm look directly at the child and say no no means no so the child understands from your from your way of talking that it is no you don't have to shout you don't have to scream you don't have to nag you don't have to criticize you don't have to be angry just being firm helps the child if your child is used to throwing tantrums then at home itself before you take them to outside places or guest houses or malls tell them that you are not supposed to throw a tantrum and if you do so these would be your consequences something which the child likes should be taken away from the child so when the child goes to the mall with the parents and throws a tantrum you would remind him once of the warning and if he still doesn't listen then ignore him if he's big if he's small child you can pick him up and bring him home and then the consequences need to be done after the tip number 5 after we have given discipline to the child never isolate the child reaffirm the child give the child love back again just love the child and explain to him why he was wrong ask the child to speak back why the child was wrong and what was the things that he did wrong if the child is able to understand he would say it and never do it again so we conclude that 
Let's not be angry, criticize, nag and hit the child to discipline the child and change his wrong behavior. But do it with love. Our eyes should be just sufficient to guide the child in the right direction. I'm sure you've been blessed by this video. If yes, bless others. Please like, subscribe, share and also hit the bell for notifications in future. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe.